Hello everybody, Rainbow Red Panda here. Just checking in. It is a Wednesday. I have not decided if I'm going to go and make the pilgrimage to my old comic book store yet today or not. I'm still really conflicted about going back there right now. I I want to so much. I miss them. I miss going there. I miss getting, you know, all of my comics from there, but I still, like, I haven't been there in a year and a half. Um, whenever I left and moved the first time, I, you know, I told them I was moving, I let them know, but I never, whenever I would come home and visit, I never went in there, and I just, I feel really bad about it, and I feel like I let them down, and I feel like, I don't know, I just, it's, going back in there, I'm not sure... I'm, I know that if I actually did it, that they would be okay with it, and that they would just act like nothing happened, but it's just, like, mentally for me, like, oh my gosh, they're, they're gonna be mad at me, they're gonna hate me, um, they're gonna kick me out, because, you know, they had all these books for me, and I never came back for them, you know, what if they don't let me have a pull list anymore, just all kinds of, like, weird things, and I know that it's all purely mental in my head, the thoughts that I have of the store, but I mean, I've had weird dreams about it in the last year and a half, um, both positive and negative, and I just, I don't know if I'm ready to go back in there yet, so I'm gonna think about it throughout the day. I may end up going back, I may not, until another week. I will eventually go back because that's how I get my comics here, but <clears throat> right now I just, I don't know if I'm ready for that. Um, I still haven't really unpacked anything here besides, you know, the necessities and the animals that I brought. Like, that's that's basically all that's unpacked. Um, maybe I'll do that today. I still have a lot of stuff that I need to do here. I need to unpack at least my kitchen stuff because a lot of the stuff that I want to do here and a lot of the stuff that I think would put me in a better place mentally for being here is stuff that I do in the kitchen because doing stuff in the kitchen is sort of a way that I relieve stress and it's also just, I mean, I want to, you know, be someone that has a baking business and so I have to get in the kitchen and I have to bake and I have to do all that stuff. It's just getting it going. I don't know, I've, I've like hit a roadblock like up here and I'm really psyching myself out and I just can't get myself into a place where I'm like, okay, like, you know, you came here to do this, so it's time to do it. So I have to get in a place. I have to I have to cook some food because I'm tired of eating non non home cooked meals. So I have to I have to do that today. I have to potentially go to the comic book store and do some other stuff. But I just wanna check in and say hi to everybody. Um I watched Raw on Monday, and I fell asleep <laughs> before the end of the show. So, yeah, Fastlane is this weekend, and I will probably do, I don't know if I'll do, like, a pre-show and a post-show. I will definitely do, like, a post-show, like, Panda Reacts kind of thing, kind of like I did with the last pay-per-view and I just guys still I'm I'm not ex looking forward to Wrestlemania at all there's nothing <laughs> you know the the main event of Fastlane is Brock Lesnar versus Dean Ambrose versus Roman Reigns and the winner goes on to face Triple H and honestly I don't want to it's it's still the same it's not that I don't like any of the people in that match it's just I don't want to see Triple H in the main event at all and there's really no way for that to change unless he, like, in real life gets injured. And I don't want to wish an injury upon somebody, but I just, I really don't want to see him in the main event at all. I don't think that he should be there. I think that it should be someone else. And I'm not sure. I'm trying to decide. WrestleMania is coming up. I'm trying to decide what they're gonna do with the Hall of Fame stuff. Like, Daniel Bryan just retired. So I feel like he's probably gonna go into the Hall of Fame 
either this year or next year. And I kind of hope that it's next year because then I can try and make the trip to WrestleMania and watch him be inducted because I think that would be a really cool thing. It's weird, like whenever I go to WrestleMania, I usually go because I want to see certain people be inducted into the Hall of Fame, not because of necessarily the main event matches or the matches at all. I go to meet people at Access and I go to watch people get inducted into the Hall of Fame. And I'll get into my couple WrestleMania stories in later videos, but I have been to a couple and I want to go in the future. I might try and go for next year. It just depends on what I'm doing at that point, how busy I am, all that kind of stuff. But I think it would be really cool, especially if he's being inducted. I've met Daniel a few times and he was just such a great guy and I'm. it was really weird for me whenever he retired, but you know, he he's doing the smart thing. I'm not going to get too much into that because I don't want this to be like a 20,000 minute video about Daniel Bryan because I could probably just make videos for days. Um, but yeah, as far as WrestleMania goes, I'm not really looking forward to it at all. I, I don't know, just... They could be doing so many different things differently and they're not. And instead, you know, you have Triple H in the main event, The Undertaker is going to come back and have a match, which... I don't know, everyone that I talk to is like, it's probably going to be like The Undertaker versus like Kevin Owens or versus somebody else and I don't know, like I'm excited, I always love watching The Undertaker's matches and I do think that he should face somebody who's sort of an up and coming person. My opinion on his WrestleMania matches was that it should have been a younger guy to break the streak, not Brock Lesnar because to me like whoever broke the streak is like you're passing the torch. You know, they're sort of going to not take on the role of The Undertaker, but I mean, he, you know, was a big part of the company. And when you would read stories and listen to stories of people, it's like, you know, whenever you enter the store, enter the company, you have to gain the respect of The Undertaker. And if you can do that, then that's amazing. And I feel like him, I feel like Taker and Lesnar, you know, came to an understanding before the match and that, you know, Taker sort of did like pass the torch to Brock Lesnar, but Brock Lesnar's never going to be to the WWE what The Undertaker was. And I feel like whoever did break the streak and had that on their shoulders should have been someone more like The Undertaker than Brock Lesnar. But what's done is done. I didn't, I didn't write it. I didn't do it. So neither here nor there now, but I don't, I think regardless whoever he faces, he's going to win because I think that he will only have one loss under his belt um, for his WrestleMania record. So we'll see who it is. I'm not sure who I think it should be. I always wanted to see The Undertaker versus Sheamus, but with Sheamus being in the group that he's in now, I don't know if that really makes sense. So I don't know. We'll see. Um, closer to WrestleMania, like after Fastlane, maybe I'll do like a WrestleMania thoughts video, something like that. But for now, I just wanted to check in and say that, hi, and I'm here, and I may or may not go get comics, probably not, but maybe, and I will see you guys next time, so, bye!